next discussion we have to discuss the boundaries of the third ventricle in more detail and as you are doing that you have to magnify the societal section of the brain. You have taken one anterior posterior section and you have removed one part of the brain looking at the other part of the brain from the medial view to look at the third ventricle which is the midline ventricle. Now if you say third ventricle is a midline ventricle there are questions asking what are the structures at the floor of the third ventricle. For that purpose I have to magnify the diagram. So this is the diagram where you are looking at the sagittal section and third ventricle and you want to magnify this area. Yeah that is the area which I want to magnify. Okay then let's do it. As you do that, you understand that this is the third ventricle and it will have some structures which are in the lateral wall. What are the structures in the lateral wall of third ventricle? What is the extent of the third ventricle? Actually, if you are talking about the extent of the third ventricle, you have to understand. It is starting here. What is this? This is the foramen of Monroe. You mean to say interventricular foramen of Monroe, which is connecting the lateral ventricle with third ventricle? Yes, CSF will come here and flow like this towards here. What is that? That, you know, is the cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. Cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. Now, if you say that is a cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius, is that in the midbrain? This is midbrain. Yes, it is midbrain because this is the tegmentum part of midbrain and that is the tectum part of the midbrain. This is superior colliculus and this is inferior colliculus. Where? This is superior colliculus and this is inferior colliculus. This is the tectum part of the midbrain. Now if you say that is the tectum part of the midbrain and that is superior colliculus on the dorsal side of midbrain and this is inferior colliculus on the dorsal side of midbrain. I think these are two each. Yes, forming corpora quadriga minor. Yes, corpora quadriga minor on the dorsum of the midbrain, which is actually tectum part of midbrain. The ventral is tegmentum. Now, if you say this is tegmentum part of midbrain, what is this between tectum and tegmentum? That is cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. So, what is the extent of third ventricle? It is ventricle of the diencephalon. It is coming from the interventricular foramen of Monroe to the beginning of the aqueduct Sylvius. Can you tell me the third ventricle, which is the ventricle of the diencephalon, what is the lateral wall of that? Yes, of course, I know. This is the thalamus. If you say that is the thalamus, then what is under that? Under that is the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus. Okay, so this is the thalamus, which is the lateral wall of the third ventricle. This hypothalamus which is lateral wall of the third ventricle. But I think it is a floor also. Yeah, floor also. It is floor. At the floor, you can see mammillary body. This is the mammillary body. So this is the mammillary body, which is part of the hypothalamus, which is at the floor of the third ventricle. Yes, this is hypothalamus, which is part of is mammillary body and it is at the floor of the third ventricle. Hypothalamus is not only lateral wall but also floor and CSF is passing in this sulcus. Can you tell me what else is at the floor of the third ventricle? Yes, the tegmentum part of the midbrain. Tegmentum part of midbrain. Oh, also tegmentum part of midbrain. Yes. So this is the tegmentum part of midbrain which is also at the floor of the third ventricle. This is the hypothalamus mammillary body. I think there is some more structures. Yes, there are. There will be a tuber cinarium also, TC. There will be a tuber cinarium also, TC. And there is one more thing. What is that? That is infundibular stock. What is that? It is infundibular stock. If you say that is infundibular stock, what is infundibular stock for? That is to connect the neurohypophysis, posterior pituitary will make a diagram for that. You are telling that posterior pituitary neurohypophysis is a downward extension of the diencephalon part of the brain? Yes, downward extension of the diencephalon part of the brain is posterior pituitary so is attaching here and there is some infundibular stalk, pituitary stalk. We will draw a diagram for that. What is this? This is the optic chiasma. 
that is the optic chiasma <clears throat> so this is the optic chiasma optic nerve is the nerve of the diencephalon yes optic nerve is a nerve of the diencephalon this is optic chiasma so can you tell me what are the structure of the floor of the third ventricle anterior to posterior what is the most anterior structure optic chiasma what is behind that infundibular stalk what is behind that tuber cyanidium what is behind that mammillary body what is behind that tubers this is tegmentum part of the midbrain can you tell me what is the roof the roof of uh, third ventricle yes okay roof of third ventricle is this structure do you know this structure what the fornix yes fornix fornix okay you are telling that fornix which is a you know c-shaped structure which is a roof of the third ventricle yes not only roof but it is coming anterior also anteriorly also so it is the roof of the third ventricle fornix and coming anterior also anteriorly actually there is one more structure what is one more structure anteriorly actually there is one anterior structure which is called as the lamina terminalis lamina terminalis what is that lamina terminalis we'll draw a diagram then we'll discuss lamina terminalis and not only lamina terminalis but there'll be some anterior commissure also anterior commissure also so you are telling the anterior wall of the third ventricle is lamina terminalis some anterior commissure anterior commissure the first commissure to develop yes connecting right brain with left brain yes and some part of fornix also come anterior but uh, usually it is the roof of the third ventricle what is posterior boundary of the third ventricle then posterior yes pineal pineal is posterior if you say pineal is posterior along with pineal there is also posterior commissure posterior commissure remember the pineal gland and the posterior commissure are the posterior boundary of the third ventricle so where is third ventricle this 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 is third ventricle then what is the posterior boundary that is the pineal gland and posterior commissure so let us make a diagram now ourselves we'll make a diagram for the boundaries of the third ventricle then and uh, it's a schematic diagram if you are making a schematic diagram then where do you start where do you end actually this is called as the foramen of monroe if that is the foramen of monroe then what is this this is actually the aqueduct of Sylvius, beginning of the aqueduct of Sylvius. So that is the extent. That is where the CSF is running. Yes, CSF runs downward like that. So as the CSF was running downward like that, I think it is going to separate the thalamus above that. Yes. And hypothalamus below that. Yes. Hypothalamus and thalamus, both of them are lateral wall of the third ventricle. Now, when you say the thalamus, is the lateral wall and also hypothalamus is the lateral wall it is not only lateral wall but it is also floor like it was giving mammillary body and it is also giving tuber cyanarium so this is the mammillary body and that is tuber cyanarium part of hypothalamus if you say this is foramen of Monroe from where the CSF is going down towards the aqueduct of Sylvius. Above that is thalamus lateral wall of third ventricle. And below that is hypothalamus lateral wall of third ventricle. But hypothalamus is also floor and contributing to tuber cyanarium and mammillary body. What else was in the floor of the third ventricle? This. What is this? This is the tegmentum part of the midbrain if that is the tegmentum part of the midbrain which is at the floor of the third ventricle then there was some other structure what are they actually i found that was optic chiasma most anterior if the optic chiasma is most anterior then what was behind that behind that was some infundibular stalk and if you are telling that is the infundibular stalk that is also called as a pituitary stalk which pituitary are you talking about neurohyper Physis, the posterior pituitary, a downward extension of the diencephalon. So tell me the structure at the floor of the third ventricle anterior to posterior. Most anterior is the optic asthma. Behind that, infundibular or pituitary stalk, the neurohypophysis suspended there. And then tuber cyanidium part of hypothalamus, behind that mammillary body, behind that tegmentum part of the midbrain. Can you tell me what is the anterior boundary? Anteriorly, yes, I know it is lamina terminalis. 
You know what is lamina terminalis? Lamina terminalis is actually the anterior or the cranial end of the neural tube. Neural tube will stop here. So neural tube is stopping here and this is the anterior or the cranial end of the neural tube. It is called lamina terminalis and it is forming the anterior boundary of the third ventricle along with the anterior commissure. This is the anterior commissure anteriorly and also you will see the fornix beginning. So fornix is basically the roof of the third ventricle but fornix is not only roof of the third ventricle it is also coming slightly anteriorly as well then what is posteriorly posteriorly actually we were having what is called as the pineal gland but along with the pineal gland you also have what is called as posterior commissure so posterior commissure and pineal gland are posterior boundary yes maybe a pineal gland or posterior commissure they are the posterior boundary of the third ventricle. These are the boundaries of the third ventricle. And then we got some question upon that. You see, this question is asking, all is seen in the floor of the third ventricle accepts. And you already know the answer. Tell me the answer. And your answer is oculomotor nerve. Why? Because it is not at the floor. Then who is? Can you tell me the other structure which are at the floor of the third ventricle anterior to posterior which is the most anterior structure? Most anterior is the optic chiasma. What is behind that? That is the tuber cinerium. What is behind that? That is the mammillary body.